Meanwhile, back at the ranch. Rancher Hicks lived out west. As far as the eye could see, there was nothing. Not even a roaming buffalo. So nothing much ever happened. I think I'll drive into town and see what's happening, said Rancher Hicks. Want to ride along, Elna? He asked his wife. No, I've got to dig potatoes, said Elna. So Rancher Hicks climbed into his truck and drove 84 miles to the town of Sleepy Gulch. He stopped at the post office to look at the new wanted posters, but they were the same ones that were there 12 years ago. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the cat had just had kittens and Elna's sewing basket... Sorry, the cat had just had kittens in Elna's sewing basket when the phone rang. Hello, Ms. Elna Hicks? Yes? Ms. Hicks, you have just won a brand new wall-to-wall -wall frost-free super cool refrigerator with built-in automatic food maker. Why, I never, exclaimed Elna. The delivery men are on their way. Meanwhile, back at Sleepy Gulch, Rancher Hicks strolled over to the barber shop for a whisker trim and to hear the latest gossip. So, what's new, Bob? asked Rancher Hicks. Well, back in the spring of 49, we had a rainstorm you wouldn't believe. Why, it rained for pretty near a whole five minutes. Folks thought it'd never stop. Nothing much been happening since. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, the dog had just had puppies when the postman came up the drive with a special delivery. Elna opened it. It was her great Aunt Edith's will. It said, Dear, my dear Elna, I am leaving you my entire estate, which is worth a bundle. Your loving great Aunt Edith. P.S. Enclosed as a winning lottery ticket, I didn't have time to cash it in. So Elna cashed the lottery ticket and put new siding on the house. Then she added a new wing for the wall-to-wall -wall refrigerator and a new den for all the puppies and kittens. Meanwhile, back in Sleepy Gulch, Rancher Hicks moseyed over to Millie's Mildew Luncheonette. What's on the menu for today, Millie? Well, we got potatoes. Potatoes mashed, potatoes fried, potatoes boiled, potatoes baked, potatoes roasted and potatoes stewed, potatoes scalloped and potatoes steamed, and one egg. <laughs> spam, spam, spam. Reminds me of the Monty Python spam sketch. Anyway. Sounds great, said Rancher Hicks. I'll have one of each and a side order of fries. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, after all the pigs had piglets, Elna finally started to dig potatoes. And then she struck oil. The oil men came and gave her lots of money. <laughs> they started eight new oil wells and an oil refinery that day. Elna took the money and had a very stylish sty built for the pigs and piglets. Meanwhile, <sighs> back in Sleepy Gulch, Rancher Hicks headed over to the general store to check out the checker game. Howdy, boys, what's new? Well, Bernie here just got a king, and it only took him two weeks, said Kurt, and I just jumped two of Kurt's men in a little over two hours, said Bernie. Wow, what a game, said Rancher Hicks. I can't wait to tell Elna. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, all the cows had calves when a silver limo swung into the driveway. Out jumped a Hollywood movie producer and a hairdresser. Elna Hicks, I'm going to make you a movie star. 
So, Elna went on a diet, lost 20 pounds. The hairdresser dyed her hair blonde and painted her lips red. The movie producer gave her a script, a bikini, a large stack of dollar bills. So, Elna had a glamorous cow palace built for all the cows and calves, and she studied her script. Meanwhile, ho-hum, back at Sleepy Gulch. Rancher Hicks started to cross Main Street when he saw it. Amazing, he gasped. Folks ran to see it. Incredible, they said. A crowd gathered. This, new, this is big news, really big, said the newspaper editor. We better wake up the mayor, said the sheriff. The mayor came. Why, I've never seen anything like it, said the mayor. So he declared it a town holiday. The whole town watched it for hours and hours until finally... A turtle crossed Main Street. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, all the horses had colts when the president's helicopter landed in Elna's yard. Elna Hicks, he said, you've got the finest horses west of Washington, and I'm making you a diplomat. Please deliver two of your finest horses to the Queen of England. <laughs> I don't know that that's how that works. The president paid Elna for the horses and gave her a diplomat's diploma and an autographed picture of himself. Don't forget to vote for me. Elna took the money and had a very stately stable built for all the horses and colts. Meanwhile, back in Sleepy Gulch, the sun began to sink slowly in the west. Rancher Hicks felt bad that Elna had missed all the excitement, so he stopped and bought her a box of Cracker Jacks. This'll make her day, he said. Then he climbed into his truck and drove 84 miles back to the ranch. Elna met Rancher Hicks down by the mailbox. He gave her the box of Cracker Jacks and told her all about the excitement. Shoot, I missed everything, said Elna. Then Rancher Hicks turned around. What the hey? Meanwhile, Elna opened her box of Cracker Jacks and inside she found a real diamond ring.